binary tree maximum path sum so firstly he will say what is a you know what's a tree you know what's a binary tree but you want to know what is a path and what sum you want to find out for that path so basically he is defining a path in this and he's saying that a path in a binary tree is a sequence of node where each node each pair of adjacent nodes in the sequence has an edge containing like we have connecting them so basically i can say it is a sequence of nodes connecting them so it is a path so 2, 1, 3 is a path for me. Now, a node can only appear in the sequence at most once. Which means, if I just go back and say, okay, 9, minus 10, 27, 25, 15. That is not a path. Because you saw, 9, minus 10, 27, 20 again came. If I would have stopped here, then it's a path. But if I'm coming back to a point, because see, I'm just traversing to, I'm just traversing, okay. To traverse to all the nodes, if you have to come back to a node, it is not a path. For that node so you can have okay let's say this is a path for me i can say this is a path for me so basically while traversing you should not come back to a node again that is a path for you okay great now you have to say that node that the path does not need to pass the route so okay as i showed you also in this example my path can be like this it need not pass from the route itself that is very obvious for me now the path sum of a the path sum of a path is the sum of the node value in the path the path sum is nothing but the sum of the node values 15 27 is the path sum for this path sum of the node values of this path great we are given the root because for sure it's a binary tree so for sure we will be given a root we have to return the maximum path sum of any non-empty path i should having i should be having a path and that should be a non-empty path and that i want the maximum path sum possible now a very basic way is firstly as you have remembered that we know what the path is okay this is a path for me okay that's a path this is a path for me that's a path one node also is a path for me that's a path this is also a path for me that's a path but i cannot say that okay if something is broken they, okay it's one path so it's one path so i should have only one path so this is entirely a one path but individually these nodes are not a path and also if i say that i i go via this route and i visit something again then also it's not a path so these two are not the path itself now let's come back and see how we can find the maximum path sum now as i showed you okay bro i don't want to visit a node again which means i will be saying okay uh, as you can see in this example in this example right here i can just say my maximum path sum is like this which is 8 minus 3 minus 2 5 and 2 but bhaiya how you figured that out yeah right now i just by eyes saw that okay this will be the maximum path sum right now bhaiya but in this you are also encountering like negative elements so you will take that yeah maybe i will take that maybe i will not depending upon if it is actually having or incrementing in my answer or not so maximum path sum here is 10 now first brute force way is i can try on for as you saw i just want to not repeat the node right so for sure i will have some start and some end i will for sure in a path i will for sure have a start and an end so rather rather what i can do is i never know that if my path will go like this to the root it will not go to the root so i never know that where my path might end up going so basically i can take every node as the starting node and try to find the maximum distance to any other node which means I can just imagine this rather than taking this as a tree, right? Let's say it's a tree. It's a tree for me. It's a tree for me with all the nodes. Now I am saying I never know. Okay, from here I have to go here and then there. Like I don't. I never know. But I I always do that. Okay, I will have a start and then I will have an end for sure. So what I can do is I can imagine. I can imagine my one node as a start node and I can just know. Okay, I have to only go down to the thing which is giving me maximum path. So I can just say okay minus two. So I'll keep on adding my values to the downwards. Okay, minus two, minus three will be its sum. Minus two plus five, it is it is this sum. And then I'll cap. Okay, it is it has become a minus five. Okay, minus five added. So basically, you are propagating the sum to the down children's itself. So if I just say, okay, right now let's say I imagine my root as eight. So now my problem has reduced. So I just know, okay, my root is 8. So I just want my path sum starting from my root 8. Okay, 8. And then I'll simply go path sum. Here the sum will become my 5. Here the sum will become my 4. Here the sum will become my 3. Here the sum will become 8. Here the sum will become 10. Here the sum will become 9. So you can see maximum path sum in this entire, entire, three, entire thing. You can just figure out, okay, what's the path? Maximum path sum you have obtained. And that is 10 itself. So your answer 
corresponding to this if you choose your 8 as a starting node your answer maximum pass sum will be a 10 and the same way you again you never know what is a starting node it can be mid node also so it can be any node in this entire tree as a starting node so you will have to try on and do a simple dfs on all the starting nodes so that will give you a O of n square time, which means every starting node, you are doing a simple DFS and finding as you like simple DFS or BFS, both will work and you're simply finding the path sum and seeing okay, what's the maximum sum you got you like you get for corresponding to that starting node, it is a maximum sum what you can get. Now, again, we want to optimize it, that will not work for us. How we can optimize it? If we look back and straightly see okay if we imagine any path and we can try to reuse something then how we can reuse it we know that okay we have a path and we know that we have propagated the answer so because in a path you are just saying okay this is the value i just i'm just wanting the value to go down and just go down and then he might give me some value so basically mm -hmm. wait a second i'll come now I want to reuse my values. Now, if I'm standing at 5, I never know that my path will be something like this or my path will be like this. So I never know this fact. But I know, okay, I can try to store some values and I can try to propagate some values for maybe later on. So I will try to find the maximum path at every point. Which means if I'm at a node, I'll try, okay, why we, we are my superpowers i'll try to imagine what is the maximum path i could have now how i can do that which means i'll parallelly propagate also and i parallelly find out the maximum path also considering that as a person as a root how let's see so basically let's say if now in a simple dfs you start off with one node and then you simply go down until you touch any of the leaf nodes so the same way let's say starting off with dfs now i have reached onto one of the leaf nodes now a simple DFS simply comes back. Now, this will come back. I know that, okay, it has gone from 5 to 2, so it will have to come back. Now, if I had only one node, so I can simply say, okay, my answer would have been answer, which is answer is the maximum path sum. So, answer, comma, 2. If I turn the value is 2, it's a, it's a, I, am, I want to maximize my answer. Okay, great. Now, I am just simply giving back this value to my 5. Now, bhaiya, why I want to give that to a 5? Because, because, if I'm giving that to my five, and again, five will not be computed until unless all of its children are computed. That's how a DFS works. So for sure, one also needs to be computed. Okay, I try to maximize my answer, but answer was all like already at two, so it will not increase because currently I'm saying maximum of answer comma one, so answer will not increase. So answer will be two itself right now, but it will give back something to its parent. It will give back something something. To its parent right now you will say bhaiya um one will give back one only to its parent two will give back two only to its parent that's very normal okay two will give back two to two to two, 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 two. two will give back two to two two will give back two to its parent one will give back one to its parent now why i am giving back some value to my parent is just that i can think okay right now i can make my path from here to here I can make my path from left to right and then root node will be in between. So I can bring, okay, from my left side, uh, from my left side, I can have a path, a path having a sum of two. Current node is five. From my left side, my path can be of sum of one. So currently my answer can be a five plus one plus two. So that is how I will propagate that to my parents so that I can find the path also. So here, as you saw that I, that can be a possible answer which is left node and right and that's how i'll simply propagate that which means left path sum right path sum i simply propagate it to my parent and that will make sure to actually maximize my answer so i'll maximize it so now on my answer has become a eight which is five plus two plus one so bhaiya are we saying that we will propagate the node values no that we will see we will not propagate the node values we will propagate the path values maximum path values how bhai, what you what you mean by that is what i mean by that is i'll show on later on but here also here you saw i propagated two here i propagated a one but when i will propagate the values up i will propagate a path value i cannot propagate eight as a value because propagating eight as a value will say to minus two is okay minus two i can take five i can take one i can take two i can take which is not a path 
I should have a straight path. Either choose a left or a right. Just choose one. So what I'll do is I know I have to propagate some values. I'll propagate a five because for sure it can for sure come. And then maximum from the left or the right. Okay, maximum is right. So I'll just choose right. Okay, plus two. So that is what I will propagate to my parent. Five will propagate five, his own value, plus the maximum from left and right. That's how your node five will propagate to its parent. Okay, great. So you will see that five will propagate the maximum path value which he could have again don't propagate the answer value which means do, don't propagate eight because it will not form a path you with minus two included minus two five one five two five repeated it is not a path so that is not a valid path so you can only propagate one value either left or right to the parent okay so he will check okay who has maximum value two has maximum value so he will propagate that value which means node value plus maximum of left or right that he will propagate okay great then again this portion is done so he propagated the value above to its parent but still he will not be computed until unless it's left child is also also computed so again i'll do the same operation i'll try to maximize my answer okay answer is already a eight here you will see eight but still he will try to maximize it it, 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 it will still be a eight he will propagate the value minus one now again for this currently the path sum for this currently the path sum will be a 8 minus 3 minus 1 so i will try to maximize my answer by saying okay answer is equals to maximum of answer comma node value which is 3 minus 3 left value which is plus 8 and right value which is minus 1 but still you will see answer is already a 8 so it is it will still remain an 8 but now i will have okay i will have a minus 3 I tried to maximize my answer, but answer remains same. Now, but still minus three has to propagate some values to its parent. What he'll propagate? He'll propagate, okay, his value and the maximum from his left and right, which is actually a eight itself. So this minus three will propagate to its parent a value of eight minus three. You remember this five, prop five propagate a value of five plus two. So now at minus two, I have the value maximum path value from the left, which is eight minus three maximum path value from the right, which is actually five plus two. And with this, I can know, okay, maximum from left, maximum from right. This is the path. This is the current value. So the path value, so the path value right now is node plus left plus right. So node plus left plus right which is okay node plus left plus right node which is minus two left it is eight eight, eight, eight minus three right there it is five five plus two that's the reason maximum answer is 10 but again bhaiya, okay what if i had again something as a parent above it if you had a parent above it then what you could have done was you could have simply just say okay um if my parent is above it then i have to propagate either left or right as a path to the parent so okay i know that this is a five this is a seven it is more so i'll propagate minus two plus maximum of left and right and i know right is maximum so i'll propagate my minus two plus seven to the parent of minus two although it is not there but you would have propagated that value to a parent so you would have become minus two plus maximum of left and right so that's how you can actually propagate five from minus two value to its parent although it's not there but that is how you can propagate and that's how parallelly you propagated the value to the parent also and parallel you also were finding the answer that's how you can simply achieve this in o of n time and also space o of n because you will use your recursive stack in worst case it can be straight skewed and that's how you can simply go to the linked list like structure that's how which is end nodes you can strictly go in the dfs itself now code is also pretty 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 simple very small code i want my answer to be maximum so i initialize with a minimum value i simply call my dfs function or the solve function starting from the root itself now a simple base case if if my root itself which means if i am reached to a node which is actually null which means i am reached to a null values so okay simply return from there itself now i will try to find my left maximum as i showed you also left maximum node okay simply go and solve for the left node right maximum is simply go and solve for the right node now my answer will be updated as you saw my answer will be updated with left maximum plus node plus right maximum okay i update my answer with left maximum plus node plus right maximum but 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 i propagate what thing to my parent answer i updated but i propagate my maximum of left right plus my node values so maximum of left or right plus node value 
is what I will propagate to my parent itself because I want path path itself. So I will propagate my node value plus maximum of left or right that is what i can propagate to my parent only and that's how your recursion will work and that's how you can simply get this solved in o of n time in o of n space and that's the reason it has been asked by so 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 many companies if you will go and you will see have so many companies and which that's the reason it been it's actually a tricky and a good question i hope that you got it bye bye